Hello guys, welcome back to Tutorials Point. We are in a media lecture. We're discussing for the application tutorials for Android. This lecture will be focusing primarily on the event handlers. So, what is an event? If you are on your screen and you happen to click a particular action or a particular button like this, you long press a particular uh, view. So, all these things are basically event in our application. We use them to trigger and to trigger or so, uh, to trigger a particular function and based on that to perform some action as a user wants it. So events are the way to collect useful information about the user, in, uh, user interaction with the components of the application like button presses, screen touch and all. The Android application framework or the Android framework maintains the event queue which is a FIFO queue and we capture these events and take actions based on these particular events as we have seen them or as, we, uh, as they come to us. So how we actually get it? We have the event listeners like for for click we are having an on click listener. Then we register we register the listener we register the listener how like set on click listener by doing this we are able to register a particular event on a particular view. And then we have the event handler like the on click method which the flow comes to this particular method and the and the action that you want to do is done over there. So now let's see at a proper list of the events that are there in our application development program. So how do we do it? Uh, we are having the event listener that is the on click listener and the event handler that is the on click. What we simply do is if, if the user happens to click or focus on a particular widget like a button or a text or an image, the focus or the that particular click is captured with us and that capturing enables us to have the click function executed and we perform the tasks that we want to do. In a similar way we have a on long click in the long click method or in the in the on long click event handler this event is set up or it's registered using the on long click listener we set the on long click listener this event get executed or this listener is activated when the user is you know focusing on the particular widget for a quite long time it's a, it's a long press then on focus change if a particular widget loses focus by widget i mean a view you are in edit text for a first name you go to the edit text for the second name or the last name at that point the focus is changed from one to other in a similar way on key if you use some hardware key or by hardware key i mean the hardware controls present on your screen like you have pressed the back button or you happen to press a key like that if it's a, if your phone is having a keypad then you then you have a press the key and that key is being captured for by our application to perform a, to perform a particular action say on volume increase i want to increase the volume for the music that is being played so all these things come as a part of the <coughs> on key listener event and the and the listener is act is controlled by an event handler named as the on key the action is performed in the on key method in a similar way we have an on touch method whenever you, you know like any gesture on the screen that we are having like we are swiping it up we are scrolling it uh, we are scrolling it up and down we are swiping it like if you would have used the swipe down to refresh layout that is there in the gmail so it, it works on the on touch whenever there's a touch and whenever the release happens based on that whatever the change has been observed we capture that and we perform an action for that particular event then it's on menu item click listener this is very uh, very common and it's self-explanatory if you're having a menu you click a menu item like say uh, you would have seen in the app combat or in the action bar you are having a setting option you click on the setting the setting page will open you can perform an action whenever the setting button is clicked so all these things come as a part of the on menu item click and the listener is on menu item click listener there is the last one uh, in this list which is on create menu on create context menu this is basically to create a entire menu on our own and this is this is generally created on a long click basically and the handler or the event listener for it is on create context menu item listener and the handler is the on create context menu not only this you can have many events like we use in the spinner on item selected listener so all these events handlers actually operate and make our work easy to perform a particular action so now let's see what are the ways in which we can actually uh, have the event listener registered 
we can register our event listener in three ways. The first being the anonymous inner class. The way we saw in the button, that was an anonymous inner class in which we took up a new object and then we had the entire function over there. The second one being in which we make our activity class event implement the listener interface. Like I say, uh, main activity extends activity implements the on click listener. When I implement this particular interface, what happens is the Android or the Java automatically recommends to override the existing or the functions that are abstract in nature. The function was on click. I override this particular method and I am able to give the functionality I want to give. This can be the second one. And the third one is when we handle the, the event handler directly in my activity underscore main dot XML, like we have already done it in the date picker when we when we had set the when we had called the set date function on the click itself. In this example, we would be using the anonymous inner class and the event handler, uh, the direct event handler in the XML file when we have a quick demo right now. This one would be taken up in the upcoming examples where we are having, we are directly implementing the interface and calling the particular method. So now let's quickly open up our Android Studio and see the working of the event handlers on our own. Yeah, hello guys, uh, welcome back again. So now let's get, get started with the demo on the event handling wherein we would be actually making our event and would we'll be trying to fire that. We would also be seeing the event like long click, long click listener and the normal on click listener. So for that I, that I request you to kindly open up your Android Studios. Yeah, if you see there's a layout file. So here are my two buttons. Now uh, let's quickly go to our main activity.java. As we have discussed that there are three ways of making an event or you know three ways of registering as as we have discussed in the slides. So first let use let's use the third way in which we would be making a function over here and that function would be getting called from our activity underscore main dot XML by linking that particular function to our on click method over there. So for that I request you to make a event make a function like this public void. Let's have image button clicked this the parameter or the arguments for this would be like the a view type variable here I give a toast saying that you have clicked now we need to register this event in our activity underscore main dot xml let me show you how you do how you will do that. For that, I request you to open up your activity underscore main dot XML over here. Select the button on which you want to fire up your on click method. If you go to the properties tab over there, you would be able to find a on click method. So here's the method which says image button clicked. Now we have been able to link this button with this particular function, right? So this was the third way in which we actually trigger the event from our XML file right so now let's come to the way in which has been which we have discussed earlier in which we made up an anonymous inner class so let's get started with the first one we make up a button this would be for the button one first of all. So let's typecast this button into the Java button. So it is like this. New on click listener. So this is an anonymous inner class concept in which we are making a separate thing for each of the button. Remind you this the problem of having such a thing that whenever we want our functions or whenever we, we want to have multiple on click listener we have to follow the same process again and again so that's why we avoid using it we can use the second way instead it, it, it's actually repeated it works so that's why we can avoid it the button is clicked and i show the text
so this is done over here let me also change the text of the button I am setting the text of the button as wait let's give the text as button clicked Now let's set up a long click listener on the second button. new on long click listener here we are passing a toast saying that the button has been long click So now let's run the application and see the response of the application on the phone. So here's my application. This is my application. I click on the image button. It says you have clicked the image button. This is done using the XML linking. This is the button click and see the text has been changed. Nothing will happen on the button click but if you click the button for a long time it says long click. So guys I hope you would have got a fair idea about the event uh, handlers like how they have been working and how do we work with them. Uh, maybe you can try uh, some more event handlers, practice making multiple events, handling multiple events that would give you a fair idea of how the event handling overall looks like and how it overall works. So thank you guys for tuning in. That was all from our side on the event handling. Stay tuned as we take you through other, other lectures in detail. Thank you.